Okay, I have this little file set up to uh, read in from a file called sample.txt. It's going to read char by char. It's going to print it out on the screen and then close up the file. Here's what's in my file, just to give you a preview. So when I run this thing, it should grab each of the characters and put it out onto the screen. There they are. Okay. Um, I can use ignore, a function called ignore, to sort of skip over some of that input. Um, so instead of shoving it into a variable temporarily, it will simply skip ahead in the, uh, the lineup of all the stuff coming in from the file. So let's say I want to ignore once I see a period. So let's just add a little if statement here. So if this guy is a period, then let's have it skip ahead a little bit. So I'm going to say in file dot ignore. Let's have it skip ahead uh, 20 characters and see where that puts us on the screen. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is sentence one. Okay, I got to a period. Let's see. And then I skipped ahead 20 characters. Let's see. This should be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it skipped those, and then it grabbed the O and the period, and then it hit another period and skipped ahead 20 more. Okay, So the variation of ignore that just uses a number, um, maybe not that useful in most situations where I don't know how many I want to skip. Um, I can use a version that says skip 20 or until you see another period. Let's see what that looks like right now. Okay. Uh, this is sentence one. Oh, another sentence E. And so you see it's doing the first one it finds. So it's skipped 20 before it ever hit another period. So let's make this be a 200 and see what happens. Okay, this is sentence one. Hit the period. Okay, it started skipping until it hit another period, which was this guy. That happened well before 200 characters because we know that this was character 20. Okay, got the second line has another sentence. We got that on the screen. It hit this period and then it ignore, ignored the rest until it found another period. So I basically skipped the, the additional sentence um, on each of the lines.